Hey everyone, welcome. Uh, sorry, I think I've got a cold today, so if I sound a little funny, that's why. Hey, um, yesterday, or in the last lesson, we learned how to solve proportions, um, percents using a proportion. In this situation, we are going to be able to learn how to solve a proportion using a formula. Excuse me, we're going to learn how to solve a percent using a formula. Where A is the part, P is the percent, and W is the whole. So we used this uh, um, diagram last time to sort of help us figure out which was the part, which was the whole. So if I gave you what number is 25% of 50, what we realized was the 50 actually was part of the, was the 100%, and we don't know what the 24% is. So if we use our formula, the part equals the percent times the whole. When we plug in the numbers, we end up getting this. Notice the percent was 24%, which is 0.24 as a decimal. The whole number was 50, and we're going to find out what part that is. So if I simply multiply these two together, I end up getting 12. And I realize that the answer, 12, is 24% of 100. Let's have you guys try one. Okay, so what number is 80% of 60? All right, I'm back. So hopefully you got this far. If you didn't get this far, I'm going to stop again real quick. All right, I'm back. And here's the formula. So when I think about 80%, I know that that is 0 0.80 or 0 0.8, and the whole is going to be 60. So I multiply these two together, and I get 48. It's that easy. Some people actually like this formula better than the proportions, while some people love the proportions because they say that it lines things up a little bit better. You decide. All right. So what percent of 50 is 26? All right. So when we think about which is the whole and which is the part, of 50 is the whole amount of that we're going to be comparing. And is 26 is the part. So we don't know the percent. So when we set up the formula, we don't know the percent, which is green. Well, it's a good thing we know algebra, because now all I have to do is divide by 50 and divide by 50. It gets me 0.52, and as percentage, that would be 52%. You try. All right, I'm back. Think about it. There's 3, there's 600. What percentage would that be? Well, once again, we have our formula. We plug in our numbers, and I divide by 600 and divide by 600. I end up getting 0 0.005, which would be 0.5%. And lastly, we've had it where we need to find out the A. We've had it where we need to find out the P. Now we need to find out the W. So notice, 30% of what number is 25 or is 12? So when we look at it, the number we don't have is the W. Once again, I know my algebra. And I end up getting W equals 40. You try. All right, we're back. So here we are. Divide by 0 0.08. Divide by 0 0.08. And we get 300. All right, that's the lesson. If you guys got questions, make sure to let me know, okay? And remember, if you like the proportion method, it works great. So feel free to use that too. Talk to you later. Bye.